Is fourth dimension real? Is it existing around us? Do we live in it right now? The short answer is, we don't know. But we can make some guesses in correlation to how reality works. And some of the theories are pretty interesting. What do we mean when we talk about dimensions? We know that we live in a three-dimensional space. Let's represent it as a cube. It can be described by three numbers. Those three are called dimensions and in 3D space can pinpoint the location of any object. Same with two-dimensional space, but instead of three dimensions we need only two. If our three-dimensional space was a cube, two-dimensional space would be a rectangle. So, using width and height, we can describe size or position of any object in it. Actually, we don't even need to call it width, or length, or height, or depth, because all of it is relative. Let's go from 2D to 1D, from rectangle to single line. Now we only need one number to fully describe its dimensions, and going one level below, we get to a single point. Infinitely small, no height, length, or width. It can be called dimension zero. Now, if we stack infinite number of points in one direction, we can go from 0D to 1D. Stack an infinite number of one-dimensional lines on top of each other and we have two-dimensional plane. Stack an infinite number of two-dimensional planes and we get into three-dimensional space. And to get fourth dimension we can stack three-dimensional spaces on top of each other. But where is the next stop? If we want to look at fourth dimension as the next dimension, we should first compare it to lower dimensions. You see, from 1D line, we can turn 90 degrees in any direction to create a 2D plane. Then, from 2D plane, turn 90 degrees to make 3D space. So then, we could turn 90 degrees from 3D space to get 4D something. But since we are three-dimensional beings, we may not be able to even comprehend this new direction. We can speculate how to describe it through math, but we don't know if our 3D math can even describe for the environment. Instead, we can see how we look at 2D space from our 3D reality, and how an imaginary 2D being would perceive a 3D object. This will allow us to imagine how could 4D object interact with our world, and how would 4D being perceive our 3D space. Let's start with us looking at 2D plane. From our point of view, we can see all of it, and moving it around in our 3D space can show us different perspectives. Also, manipulating it could seemingly allow for two places to change distance between them in 3D space, without changing distance in 2D space. So, 4-dimensional being should be able to look at our 3D space and see all of it at once, seemingly be able to look at every object from every angle at the same time. Moving and changing space would show different perspectives and allow seeing 3D objects in entirely different form. Also, some things may be connected, even when they seem to be far from each other. Just like the concept of quantum entanglement. Now, let's imagine that we are 2D being in 2D world. Just like this point on the plane. Take a 3-dimensional object and put it through our plane. On 2D plane, it appears as a flat shape. And when we move it in third dimension, it changes. Additionally, looking from 2D perspective, we don't see it as this shape, but only as a line, kind of like projection. Depending on which side we look at, we can make out the entire 2D shape, but we can't see 3D shape because we don't even know how third dimension look like. Now let's get back to our reality and imagine how would 4D object look to us. Same as in 2D world, the shape of 4D object would be as everything else in our reality, in 3D. But changing this object's 4 dimension value would change its shape in our world, kind of like morphing into a different object. For example, we have the Tesseract, which is a 4 dimensional cube we would perceive it as a cube changing its shape, getting turned in and out. Same as a rectangle can be made from 4 lines, a cube from 6 rectangles, the tesseract can be made from 8 cubes. But how do they relate to each other is a mystery that we may not be able to comprehend. We can only make projections of it in 3D space. 
but it doesn't reveal its true 4D shape to us, just a momentary 3D state. Since we can imagine a 4D object in a 3D world, we should also think about a 3D object in a 4D dimensional world, and we can speculate how we would perceive and interact with 4D space. Ah yes, multiverse, parallel universes and alternative dimensions, a rising topic in current movies, and device to throw any plot consistency out of the window. But there may be some interesting connections to fourth dimension theory. Just imagine playing a 3D game. You can move forward and backwards, left and right, jump and crouch. So move in 3D space, but imagine that we can move in one additional dimension, and moving it would change the world around us. Something like changing entire scenography, or forwarding a movie, but instead everything changes around you. Those different scenes could be other realities, universes or alternate dimensions, and moving between them could be our fourth direction if every small change creates a new branching timeline. Then we could assume that all the possibilities and variations make up the fourth dimension, but it is beyond our reach, at least for now. Instead, we could take a look at things that exist in our reality, but we don't fully comprehend. We know surprisingly few things about gravity. It pulls things to other things, higher the mass, higher the gravity. On the other hand, the further apart things are, the lower gravitational forces, but everything with mass affects every other thing with mass, doesn't matter how far away they are from each other. That's in short what we thought, until Einstein formed the theory of general relativity. He speculated that instead of some magical invisible force, gravity, space and time are interconnected and interact in some extent with each other. This theory is an expansion on Newton's traditional gravity theory. It explains more things and some of its parts are being proven just recently. But how can it be connected to fourth dimension? You see, mass and gravity seem to change space. If we look at space as a grid, just like this blanket, put something with mass on it, for example a planet, and it will bend space around it. Objects moving on this grid change trajectory accordingly to how space is bent. So, can we say that this bend in space is our fourth dimensional direction? Is there a possibility that enough mass in one place would stretch space, forming some kind of bridge between two seemingly distant locations? Maybe black holes or wormholes are like bridges going through the fourth dimension. Those are just speculation, but someday we may expand on our theories about how reality works and understand it better. In space-time we covered space, and now we could take a look at time. Well, as with everything else we talked about in this video, we don't know much about time. On a basic level, it is just a concept that allows us to measure when things happen. Our 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year system is just based on Earth's movement across the space. So we could speculate that time itself can be our fourth dimension. Again, we can go back to the theory of relativity. space time, gravity, speed, energy, everything seems to be connected. For example, if you get three objects, one on Earth, one traveling through a space with velocity close to light speed, and one near a massive black hole, each one would experience the passing of time differently. Higher relative speed or being close to a source of high gravitational force can slow time or its perception, and we know it for a fact, because of difference in signal due to quick movement of satellites. This raises a question, is time connected to gravity, or gravity is affected by time, or both are consequences of some other unknown force? Anyway, let's assume that time is a new direction, since seemingly we constantly move forward with it. Then is it possible to move backwards, just like time travel? If it is new dimension, is all past, now and future? already determined, are there beings that could see all of the time, travel through it and change events that happened and may happen in the future? It may be possible, but right now, all of it is just a theory and it may be a small fragment of the truth that someday we may discover. So, what did we learn? 
concept of a fourth dimension is just a theory. At our current level of understanding, we may only speculate about it, and new discoveries in astrophysics, quantum mechanics, relativity, and other branches of physics will someday change our outlook on the reality. One day we may become four dimensional beings, or not. Maybe it is impossible for us to gasp and understand higher dimensions. Maybe higher dimensions don't even exist. Maybe we are living in it and higher beings are what we call gods. Who said that laws of physics and mathematical concepts can be even compared between different dimensions? What if we can only observe how those unseen forces interact with our three-dimensional world? One day we may find out, but it is not right now. There are many complicated concepts surrounding this topic. Brilliant minds spend their entire lives researching and working on topics that are the peak of current science. In this video I simplified a lot of things. And I mean really simplified them. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and liking it. We may even talk about some of those topics more in depth in future. So leave a comment and tell me what kind of video should I make next. See you soon, be there or be square, or more like a cube. Get it? Like a cube, since it is in 3D? I will see myself out.